in today's lecture i'm going to explain what is the shadow price of water let us explain how do you find the shadow price of uh, water so imagine that uh, we have water resources and you know the diversity of water resources some water resources like surface water is separate than groundwater so let's assume for one type of resource let it be a surface water let's assume that this uh, green line is the available water for a moment uh, and, and let's assume that this uh, the green line is the cost of collecting water so in other words this marginal cost so how much water will you produce it actually will depend on how much is the demand so if i know that the the demand curve is here this particular line then we know that according to the market equilibrium this is the amount of amount of water that the society will demand imagine that this is the usable water which means available water for human use that basically means that we are not encroaching into the uh, into the water services for the ecosystem which means we are we are keeping enough water for the nature imagine that this particular amount which is usable water is here if the usable water is here that means under the current market price what is happening we are over producing and we are reducing the services of the nature assuming that this particular scenario has happened which basically means there is a social externality and externality has created social cost now this externality may be created even without an encroaching in other words if i uh, without encroaching into the nature which means that you produce and you pollute so there are two reasons i'm giving you explanation and if that happens the social marginal cost line will be higher than the private marginal cost line so now you realize that if the social marginal cost line is higher that means with this price what you are happening the society is the society would have expected this much this much uh, desirable output but because the prices are not proper we are producing here and that basically means we are over producing and this particular triangle is the social cost of overproduction now on the other hand if i was producing here let's say let's say this is my demand that basically also means that i have lost this is which is also known as dead weight loss so either way we lose some efficiency in the society so the economic theory suggests that this is the social optimum this amount and in order, and this optimum creates and gives you a price and that price is the shadow price of water so shadow price is basically created by the intersection of social demand function for for resource and the social marginal cost for that particular resource remember that resources may vary in terms of characteristics and each and, and each resource is separate so that is how we can define the shadow price of water now we know that if i want to know the shadow price of water we need to know the demand as well as the supply so we need to know what is the externality cost if there is an externality and we need to know the demand and since this is not a market driven product that's why knowing both demand and supply becomes costly and that's where the solution comes the question is what should be this what does shadow price help shadow price tells you that if your private price is lower then the social price shadow price that means you are overusing at resources and costing others it could be nature if it if this particular if you encroach into the um, into the if you are here if you are producing in this case you are reducing the nat nature's ability to provide some of the other ecosystem services if it is here you are also adding a cost and this cost may not be on the ecosystem but its cost may be also on other individuals who are using water so remember this social prices are you know shadow prices are created in order to find out whether we are using optimal resources or not if we price it properly then the private and social price will be exactly social private use and the social desirable output will be exactly same and under this condition society will efficiently utilize resources 